Hi, this is Ian Wong, you guys can call me Philip, the team leader of Yo-Yo Friends, and today we're going to review the Yo-Yo Friends Stink. Now, I'm actually one of the two main designers of this Yo-Yo, main main designer, so I will uh, walk through on how we did this Yo-Yo, why we did this Yo-Yo, and uh, we're going to go through every single prototype phase and how the Yo-Yo Friends player team think about this Yo-Yo, and how we made this to production, and now we'll do a very full review. Okay, now history of this Yo-Yo is, uh, our Yo-Yo Friends, you know, we are very premium brand. Most of our uses, actually all of it before this year uses 768. And there doesn't price too, uh, they're not too budget friendly. Hummingbird is at 130, Ray Tracer is at 100, and uh, Magpie is at 65. They are very price friendly for what they are, but you know, they're not really true budget yo-yos. So what we want to do is we want to bring our yo-yo, uh, we want to humble ourselves with 6061 first, and then to make it around fifty dollar, we still want to have that nice premium quality and quality control. So it's around fifty dollars. So, uh, but it's more affordable to the masses. So, when we tackle this, we're we're thinking, okay, we're using sixty sixty one instead of seventy sixty eight, but we still want to have this year to perform as well as the seventy sixty eight counterparts and uh, you know all your friends lineup. And that is kind of hard to do because you know. 66 to 1 a little bit high tolerance we don't have too much design to work around with so what we did is we need a really really performance driven design and uh, not too every single thing should be around performance so okay so the first prototype uh, after me and my friend came up is this so this video weighs 65.5 grams uh, very nice very big cap we also want this video to kind of finger spin and also have a very nice flowy and floatiness characteristic and that definitely does it. So very nice shape, V shape and kind of W also. Uh, the response is the exact same as the Ray Tracer because I really like that response. So very nice design overall. So, but the thing is, when we play this video, uh, some of the players think that it's a little bit too heavy, a little bit jarring and uh, the flowiness and floatiness, the floatiness is not so much, but most of our players are performance driven, so not too much care about, but floatiness is really nice, but there's a little bit sluggish going on at very high end, and it's not quite zippy, and that is something that I, we don't really like, uh, some of our speed players really like the you know, very zippy, and just teleports from left to right, and uh, yeah, so what we did in here is because the center axle is right here, and since we're trying to make this a finger spin, we're trying to curve up the design, like a like a bowl shape going on. Uh, this is why this cap is so much bigger. So this making the yo one point something grams heavier, almost two grams heavier actually, and this yo like really, I mean, overall feels really nice, but a little bit sluggish, reluctant to move at very high end. So what we did is we eliminated this uh, cap right here, or this cup design right here. And also, uh, this video is a tiny bit sharp. And, you know, we don't want to make it as sharp as Magpie again. So we made this video, we rounded off this edge. So it's very friendly when the video snaps back at you with incredible power. Because this video is very powerful as it is right now. Uh, also the bind. So the bind uh, for Drake. He's our best binder, so he wants something even more responsive, more snappy, and he also does awesome like regions. So he is very heavily demanded on bind. So what we did is we took the ray tracer, also this prototype one response, we lower the gap width from 4.5 millimeter to 4.45 millimeter, and also uh, bump down the response excess wall here, so the yo is more responsive in binds. But we're also making sure that it's not the strings are not rubbing the bind, I mean, the pads whatsoever. Okay, so yeah, after all that, the prototype 2 came out. Uh, I don't have the prototype 2 with me, but this, uh, the production is the same, but a little bit lighter. So, production uh, prototype 2 yo, -yo very nice, uh, 64.8 grams. Uh, the cap is eliminated, better response, uh, better. Uh, you know, more comfortable, so it doesn't, it's not too sharp. And we also increase the uh, inner rim weight right here because shaving out two gram is too much. Uh, so we raise the uh, weight back up to 60, uh, like I said, 64.8.
so yeah, uh, as you can see, the rim design we have a more uh, inner ring is bumped up a little bit. Not inner ring, the inner side is bumped up a little bit to give it a little bit more power. So yeah, so you turn out very powerful. But uh, since there's so much rim weight going on, it's slightly bit taxing and a little bit jarring for you know prolonged period of playing. And I feel like the yo can be even faster and it has a very nice decent flow to it. And uh, yeah, and what we did is I told the manufacturer to lower the weight by 0.3 grams. And that is kind of hard to do on the cat because the tolerance, the weight tolerance when you're actually making the yo is around there. So, Really shout out to our counterparts in China over there. They really did very well. Every single year I got is 64.5 grams. So they literally shaved off exactly 0.3 grams on each single yo-yo. So really huge shout out to them. And uh, that is the production version we have here. Okay, so this is the history of the yo-yo. Uh, basically, this yo-yo has been through a lot of tests. It's a uh, few approved by Stephen and uh, Owen and uh, speed approved by me. I'm a speed player, kind of. Uh, Steven is also pretty fast, and uh, Sam Shemaya, he's really fast. He really likes the speed of the studio. And uh, it's comfort approved and also bind approved by, like I said, Drake, and uh, really good at binds. And also, it's power approved by Oli, because Oli is really one of those with like infinite rim weight, like the Hummingbird, which he uses at his uh, go to yo right now. So, yeah, this goes through a lot of tests, so we're really pretty happy what it came out to be. Okay, so now we're going to go through uh, the spec of the yo-yo right now. And we're going through the smoothness first. This yo-yo is dead 20 out of 10 smooth. It is literally as smooth as Ray Tracer, so basically no white whatsoever. Very nice finish. Um, no, nothing, you don't feel anything, period. You don't feel anything with your fingernail, period. Very, very nice. Um, yeah, can't get any smoother than this. Okay, now the speed on this yo-yo. Speed of the two is really, really fast. I would say around medium fast to fast pace between there. This yo-yo, like, once you begin to throw it, you don't feel that speed. But once you start cranking up the speed, you're like, oh my god, this yo can handle anything I'm throwing at. And that is the kind of feeling we're looking for. I would say this speed is slightly lower than Hummingbird and around the same as the Magpie in terms of speed. So it's really, really fast yo-yo. Power on this yo-yo is pretty good. It's on the more powerful side of uh, a mono metal yo-yo, any mono metal doesn't matter what material, super powerful. You know, this is a very full size yo-yo at 56.5 millimeter, so it's not quite a small yo-yo. So you got all that, you know, weight pushed to the outside, and just lots and lots of rim weight because of the design. So uh, power, it can power through, you know, one meter combos. Uh, if you're using the right bearing, and I think in the promo video, I actually put out a 75 second combo on this, which is ridiculous. So I'm pretty proud of myself there too. <laughs> okay, stability of this yo-yo is super stable. Um, you feel like two rims on the outside, just making this yo-yo just feel super stable. It doesn't want to change plane too much or at all. And it's not too hard to also change this plane uh, with your own force, which is very nice in horizontals. It will it have that really nice stability. One of our customers actually started using this for 3A. That's how stable this yo-yo is. And that definitely uh, is something that's very cool because it's a mono metal. And you know, using mono metals for 3A is really like cool, I think. It's because you know mostly 3A yo's are inner ring bimetals or sometimes the outer ring bimetal like the boost. But this got this got enough stability, even though this yo is pretty light at 64.5. Not exactly light, but Really, really nice stability, so you can even do 3A on them. Okay, flow of this yo-yo is also pretty nice. It's not too much flow because this yo-yo is more performance driven, but the flow 
it's definitely there to complement the speed because stability and speed is something and power is something this yo-yo is uh, made for. So there is floatiness to have this yo-yo to have the momentum to carry over in the horizontal plane and also a very nice feeling in a higher end speed so it's not too jarring or taxing for you. Float on this yo-yo, there's not much float because most of this yo-yo, uh, most of the design is based on pure performance. So if you're looking for floaty yo-yo, uh, look towards you know, other options like Recon or Magpies and uh, you know even Cadence has some little bit more floatiness to it but this show is pure competition super fast performance so not too much flow there bind on this show is perfect like I said Drake tested it out uh, I'm using Kitty Normal it's, it binds super snappy but not too snappy point to point uh, it's kind of hard to region something super nice at uh, regions you know Drake has been killing it on his Instagram feed and our Instagram feed all day with amazing bind and uh, just regions, sky regions, like incredible regions. I recommend Kitty Normal to Kitty XL. So because of the tighter uh, gap width on the Ray Tracer, so Kitty Normal, Kitty XL, anything in between, you're good to go. Or any thickness of other uh, brand, uh, string brands, like you're good to go. Okay. So now I'm gonna go to horizontal. Okay, kind of messed up there, but I'm fine. Okay, horizontal on this unit is very good. It's got tons of stability, and you got that momentum and lightness of the yo-yo that carries over, and also definitely have that floatiness going on. Um, I will suggest play at a medium to medium fast speed in horizontal. Uh, too fast, this unit doesn't. It's not like quite as zippy as hummingbird, but you can definitely have a very nice controlled feeling at a medium to medium fast pace. Definitely way above average in horizontal. You can shout out horizontal uh, like super, super nice. Uh, not too much problem there. I think in my opinion, it's a little, even better than Hummingbird a little bit because uh, it's less string rub because of the design. Um, and Hummingbird is tiny little bit more organic uh, in the middle, but uh, definitely have the power, have the stability. And you can also change the direction, not as easy as uh, uh, the Ray Tracer, but you can definitely change the direction of this a little bit too. So you can make micro adjustment to keep that oil in the horizontal plane. So very nice there, uh, no problem. Uh, grinds and stuff, finger grind, super nice, uh, no vibe at all, very the width of this yo-yo is pretty nice and it's very catchable on your finger, so finger grind 10 out of 10, no problem there. Thumb grind, huge lip, huge, huge, huge lip. You can do this like all day, super smooth, like I said, I'm still going, I'm still going, still spinning pretty powerfully. So yeah, thumb grind 10 out of 10, no problem. Finger spin, uh, most of this have a giant sink logo in the middle, so it doesn't spin quite as well. It just finger spins around average. Uh, but you can definitely do hop combos, uh, no problem. Oh god, I just messed up there. But yeah, um, so average to below average because of the engraving. But if you have a Galaxy version which doesn't have engraving, it becomes average to above average. Uh, it's just a flat cup here, so you can sort around all you want. Okay, so that is finger spin. And uh, who would I recommend this video to? So, I recommend this video to medium players to fast players. So if you're in any of that spectrum, especially if you're on a medium fast to fast paced player, definitely this video is the way to go. It will not bottom out period, no matter how fast you're pushing it. It's got a very uh, premium feel to it and very stable. It feels, the weight of this video feels pretty medium. Actually, a lot of customers say it's to the lighter side, but for me, it feels medium. So medium to lighter side of the yo-yo have tons of stability, really stable really powerful and uh, have very nice bind. So if you were looking to something like that, that's very nice. I don't quite recommend this video to the players who is looking for floatiness. If you like the that have a lot of floatiness, uh, look into other videos like the Recog uh, and the Magpie-ish or that kind of thing, or even the Ray Tracer has more floatiness to it. But if you're looking for just 
speed, power, and stability. This is the go-to one for my metal, I think, for me. And also uh, have very nice flow, not too much flow, but very nice flow to complement it. And then, you know, horizontal, all that, you can handle it in sleep. So no problem at all. Okay, so this is my review on the Yo-Yo Friends Sync. So next video, I'm going to compare the entire Yo-Yo Friends lineup. So that is going to be my officially first sell-out video. I hope you understand. So I will have uh, the four lineup on Yo-Yo Friends. I'm comparing them which one you should use. So more like a Yo-Yo Friends buyer guide. Uh, depends on what kind of player you are and what each of you excels at and you know which one you should get in each different price point the magpie the hummingbird this is new colorway don't tell anybody okay so ray tracer and the sync so i will compare them you know on the speed uh what kind of player should get what yo-yo and yeah so that's it for today i uh, also have friends sending yo's to me uh too to do more reviews uh, I will post around, I think, two to three videos per week. I'll try my best. I know I'm doing too much right now, but, you know, I'm, I'll pace myself better next time. So thank you all for watching. See